Hello, and thank you for joining me to episode 3 of my Let's Play for Worm Unlimited. In this episode, I'm going to set my um, <coughs> main goal as creating a fishing rod. And then if there's time, which I, there should be, because uh, I've got all the components prepared, but I'm going to go over get how you get them components, except for one, which I'll get to. So we're going to create a fishing rod and then we shall use it to catch some fish because uh, in episode 1 I showed you how to forage and botanize uh, and I mentioned killing animals to get meat but of course when you're first starting your first day and in fact going to be for a while you know you're gonna your skills are gonna be low until you build up your skills and your fighting skills which I'll get to in a later episode but for now we don't want to be fighting any wild animals because they're gonna kill you uh, in all probability unless there's a group of you so for now we'll go another route because instead of using meat with our pumpkins we're gonna use fish okay so let's get started okay now the first thing that I'm gonna talk about in this uh, episode 3 is mentioning some of the different trees and woods I'm only going to mention a few that I can think of off, on the, off the top of my head and uh, in um, Worm <coughs> excuse me sorry in Worm there is uh, quite a few different trees I don't know the complete list there's, there's, there's loads um, but I'm going to talk about four different uh, trees and their uses. Now, for creating a fishing rod, the best tree to use, for the best wood to use for creating a fishing rod is willow. So the best tree to use is a willow tree. And as luck would have it, um, rainstorms not chop this one down, so I'm able to show you um, the cutting of the tree for the first time as well because I've not shown you that and I do want to be thorough in this uh, playthrough like I said earlier so we're going to cut down the willow tree so willow is best for creating your fishing rods why because they damage slower as you catch fish when we do the fishing part of this uh, play let's play you're going to see that, that the fishing rod takes damage as we fish but using a willow fishing rod it will be slower the damage that it takes so it will last longer now the next wood that I'll mention is birch birch is good for um, making coal piles which we'll get into in a later episode why because it burns slower and when you make coal piles the slower they burn the more components you will get out of them coal piles okay the next tr uh, tree I'll mention is oak Oak is the uh, best wood to use for making tools, like uh, a wooden mallet, which we're going to get to in another episode. So any tools that you make that are wooden tools, you would use oak, if you've got access to oak, that is, because it could be that you don't have access to any of these trees. Don't worry, because when you come across that tree, you know now that you can use some... Um, oak for at all. Okay, the next wood tree that I'll mention is cedar. Cedar is best for um, when you build boats. Uh, if you build a wooden house, build it out of cedar. If you build any storage bins, build them out of cedar. Because with items like that, uh, they rot slower. So cedar is the best wood to use. Okay, with all that said and done, let's now move over to this willow. Now, for creating a fishing rod, there is two main components that you're going to need. One is some cotton. Now, how do you get cotton? <clears throat> I hear you asking. To get cotton, I did show you in episode one, you forage. Now, it's not you don't get cotton through botanizing you get cotton through foraging so right click on a tile a grassy tile go to nature and then left click forage and you'll need to keep doing that on all the tiles that there are in front of you until you get a piece of cotton cotton is very very important early game um, 
hopefully you'll be able to get two cotton because you'll keep one cotton for your fishing rod and one cotton that you can plant in a field but we'll get to farming in a later episode so that's one of the main components is cotton that you'll need the second of course is the chosen wood of your choice in this case in this playthrough I'm going to use the best one which is willow so I'm going to activate my axe and there's two ways that you can cut a tree down okay you can either right click on the base of the tree and left click cut down or you can left click so the tile with the tree is highlighted you'll see then up in this window that it says willow tree that's the target window and it's giving me different options here when I've selected that tile with the tree the willow tree and you see one is cut down I'm gonna do it the old school way which is simply right click and cut down because that's the way I'm just used to so using my axe is probably gonna depending on the age of the tree now just to show you that if you right click and left click examine down here it will tell you you see an old willow tree damage 54 because I just chopped it once with my axe okay what's with the old well you can get young trees well starts with saplings when you plant a tree we will get to nature and that skill in a later episode for now just quickly to say in fact I'll make it even quicker this tree is old I'm choosing I would have cho chosen a tree that's older but because we're limited for trees on this island I'll just go for this willow because it's handy and it's here so the older the tree is the more wood you will get out of it that is uh, the thing about the age of the tree if it's a young tree you'll get a, a piece of wood you won't get a log you won't get a tree you'll just get a, a wood chipping I think it's called if you go for an old tree I should get about six logs if you went for the uh, top of my head I can't think of what the oldest is called it might well be oldest <laughs> I don't know um, that one will give you seven logs I believe so I'm gonna chop this one down there you go okay so that's chopping down the tree nice and straightforward and simple now you can create a key binding to do this for you and um, I will mention the key bindings at the end of this episode if there's time so we'll see how we get on I'm recording for 30 minutes okay so we've chopped the willow down now what we do we need to chop it up into usable logs if I was creating a boat oh no I won't complicate this so I, want, I need to now chop this tree up into logs to do that you can either select the tree with a single left click and then up here in the window failed tree you can use the chop up option I'm going to go old school again so I will right click the tree left click chop up and then I will just keep doing that in fact I've set up a uh, key bind so I'll just simply use that there we go done so don't worry about the right clicking and the left clicking um, it's a bit early for me to, to perhaps go into that there's more important things for your survival um, but I will get to that and we'll show you how to do it if you need to be well I won't presume anything for anyone I will just show all I can and be as far as I can okay so here we are we now have a pile of willow logs if we right click and left click open we can see oh we got five willow logs okay well that's good enough you'll notice that some of them are 24 weight and one of them would have been the last <clears throat> you cut, I would have cut three 24s the last one would have been 34 and when you chop that you'll get obviously a 24 and then you get a 10 so there we are this there's the logs I will grab um, one of the 24s I mean they're all ridiculously low quality because one my skill level is very low so it's not going to chop very high secondly there's two factors to the quality level of what you chop down when you chop a tree one is your skill level and one is the quality level of your tool and of course these are starter tools like I mentioned in episode one so they're really low quality level if I boosted that quality level improved it as it's called in worm or imping as you'll hear it referred to in worm <coughs> excuse me we can boost that up so if I set boosted that improved that imped it to quality level 50 
and my skill level was quality level 50 uh, sorry the tool was quality level 50 the wood was quality level 50 and my skill let's have a look what my, is my skill at so my wood cutting is four so that's also late low so there's three factors I apologize that there is three factors which will tell us the quality level one is your skill one is the tool quality and one is the actual tree quality level that then will tell you what quality level products you will get from that tree so I'm sorry I know I sounded a bit I went around the houses there and got a bit messed up but let's get back to track okay so we got our willow log and if we go over here I'm not going to go through hundreds of, well about 50 tiles trying to find a piece of cotton because um, it would waste too much time for this recording what I want to achieve in each recording is just trying to do each task um, making sure you know how to get that uh, resource or that component and then putting them together so in this pile of uh, items I've already got a piece of cotton that I used okay and I'm gonna grab a wooden log okay so I'm gonna use the pine wood log for making a few of the components necessary for the fishing rod so let's get started on this fishing rod <clears throat> okay to start with with the fishing rod we're gonna need to create a spindle to create a spindle now in worm unlimited and worm online it's got this fantastic uh, crafting tool so when you left click on it it's on this little toolbar here which I'd prefer to just, just to uh, give information on each button as and when we've requ required to use it and I haven't mentioned yet that when you start the game you also get a backpack which I hadn't mentioned yet you do get this backpack so along with them starting tools that we started with in episode one there was also this backpack and if I click on this bar up here you'll see the body appears and there's the backpack slotted up there but uh, we'll go over that a bit later for now I'm going to focus on the fishing rod okay so over here you'll see on this toolbar is crafting so left click that brings up this fantastic crafting window now you're going to see why this game is one of the top games for crafting they have a fantastic system for crafting okay down here in the bottom left is all the crafting recipes so we left click that and it brings up this window let me try and move these windows so they don't get too cluttered okay so we've got crafting recipes down here in the bottom left we've got a search option okay so we want to create a fishing rod so what we do is we type in fishing rod and then up above it lists up everything with fishing in it I just typed fishing I didn't want to put rod because it now shows us the fishing line as well as the fishing rod so if we expand the fishing rod it shows us the starter items our fishing line and a wooden shaft let's start by making the wooden shaft so if we double left click on the shaft it now shows us the construction materials for a shaft okay for a shaft we need a carving knife which we have we were given that very kindly by the uh, game makers uh, code club AB they very generously gave us these items okay and we need a log so we have the pine wood log so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on shaft and left click add starting items to crafting okay you'll now see over here it's put in for me the carving knife and it's by mistake though chosen the willow log so what you do left click on the pine wood log in your inventory drag it and drop it over that and you see now it says pine wood log I don't want to waste the precious willow because all of that wood I want uh, for the fishing rod when you make an item the very last item that you add to it so for the fishing rod if I make sure that the um, let's see mm, actually I just 
going to go on the side of caution here. You have to be careful when making an item. If you want it made out of a certain wood, the best thing to do is make all the components out of wood. Because the last wooden component you add to it that finishes it, it will then become that type of of uh, wood. So if it's a willow tree, it will be willow. If it's elm, it will be elm. If it's pine, etc, etc, etc. So, okay, let's get you into good habits. What you want to do is stick with the willow log for all the components. So we're making a shaft. If we look over here on the right, there's the shaft. So I'll left click that. And there's the shaft there. And I now just left click create. So away it goes. And there we are. We now have a willow shaft. How fantastic. Okay, so going back to the recipe window. I'll type in fishing again. Or just fish. That brings it up. Expand fishing rod. We have our shaft. Now we want the fishing line. Up here is a fishing line. So for the fishing line we are going to need a fishing hook and a string of cloth a string of cloth okay to make a string of cloth you need you can use the recipe window here you could just type in here or you could just simply double left click and you're going to see you need a spindle to create with the cotton so a spindle with the cotton so you need to make a spindle to make a spindle activate your carving knife right click on your pine wood log we don't have any oak because that would have been the tool to make the spindle out of but we don't have oak at all at the moment so we'll just use the pine wood right click go over create and tools and then left click spindle Here you'll see now the progress bar going across and it failed. You best get used to that. It says you almost made it, but the spindle is useless. That's a perfectly natural thing. Our skill is so low, we're going to fail a lot. As our skill improves, we will be successful a lot. And that's how we can then work to getting the quality levels better and better. It all just works so well. So, okay, we'll simply try again. Right click, create, tools, spindle. And again, let's see if we're successful this time. No, okay, and again. See, we get many tries. Sometimes the item will take damage when you fail, but not in this case. <clears throat> and there is our spindle. Okay, to create the string of cloth, we will activate the spindle, or you can do it through the crafting window. I prefer you know I've been playing this game for so many years and I'm so used to doing it this way it is a fantastic I do use this quite often but for com for items that I know off the back of my head even though I haven't played frequently for a long time well <laughs> three to six months I still I just know them you just it's like riding a bike you never forget so okay to create a string of cloth activate your spindle right click on the cotton Go over create, resources, string of cloth. Okay, let's see if we're successful or, or we fail. No, there we are, lovely, fantastic. We've got a string of cloth. Okay, so let's go back to typing fishing into the crafting recipes window or fish. Okay, so if wax expands fishing rod, we've got the shaft, we need the fishing line. Up here is the fishing line. For the fishing line, we need the string of cloth, which we've just done, and a fishing hook. So I'm going to double left click the fishing hook, because I can't remember how to make that. Oh, wait a minute, no, here's the fishing hook. So if I expand that, we need crude knife on a log. Excellent. Okay, so what we will do is we will activate the carving knife and right click on the pine wood log create and it's right there in my menu tool parts fishing hook so I'll create that okay notice after it it says pine wood so I wanted to steer away from doing that 
so what we will do is we will right click on the willow create tool parts fishing hook because I want to like I said make all the components out of willow so I don't make the mistake of it being a pine wood fishing rod it needs to be a willow fishing rod okay I failed typical let's try again do you see now I've got an extra item under tool parts? It when I first start, oh no, I'm on the. It's changed the. Uh, let's see, create tool parts. Ah, okay. Let's just try that on this. Um, Okay, sorry, I had a moment of stupidness. They happen quite often sometimes. Sorry about that. Okay, so right click, click on the willow log and tool parts and fishing hook. Let's try again. And failed again. Fine. We are so used to failing. So it's good when I'm successful. Makes it even more special. Okay, let's see. So we got the willow and we got the pine wood. Let's discard. So right click the uh, pine wood fishing hook and drop on ground. Because I don't want to use the other one, that one by mistake. Okay, so we've got our fishing hook. So if we come back up here now to the window, carrying on with the fishing rod. To make the fishing line, we now need the fishing hook and the string of cloth. So if we double left click the um, fishing hook which will then activate it, right click the string of cloth hover over create, tool parts, left click fishing line and there we go, hopefully it will succeed yeah, fantastic, and there we are we now have a cotton fishing line okay, so we can close that now, so we have our fishing line, we have our shaft so we double left click on the fishing line, right click the willow shaft, go over create, tools and there we are, the wonderful fishing rod, left click, let's see if we're successful, no we failed, fear not we will try again, if at first you don't succeed, and there we go, try try again, that should be the motto of worm actually, ok so now we have wonderful fishing rod notice the quality level is quality level one okay when using any item in worm if it's only quality level one you've got to be very careful that you don't break it usually as a general rule of thumb whenever you create a new tool whether it be wood or iron always improve it to at least four or five the reason for that is you need to improve it to quality level up here quality level four or five at least. If you keep it on quality level one, when it takes a bit of damage, there's a good chance it will come unst unstrung and it'll, it'll break, just like bows. So it's a good rule of thumb with any tools, always improve them. So what we're gonna do to improve this willow log, we don't have to use willow, a willow log to improve it, we can use any wooden log. So we're gonna use the pine wood log because the willow, is um, I like to keep them there few and far between, between they're absolutely beautiful trees to see on the landscape so I prefer just to use the pine wood so okay what we'll do to improve the willow log its quality level we activate the pine wood log right click on the fishing rod and you'll see an option that says improve left click over here it will whiz across and it'll tell you tell you the fishing rod could be improved with some more log so you improve the fishing rod a bit so I improved it notice its quality level now is 2.69 now the quality level of the item that you're using to improve another item has to be higher with tools it generally lets you go <clears throat> higher than the tool quality level but with resources like wood especially I will not be able to improve this past 8 Point twenty three, because it will. I'll show you what it'll say. So we'll improve it some more. Okay, I damaged it that time. See the damage. So what you do when you damage an item? Right click, left click on repair. 
that will then repair the item. Fantastic. And notice when we did the repair, it only took a slight bit of the quality level down. Hardly any. So we'll right click and improve again. Okay, look, excellent. Look at that, how fantastic, eh? It's now on 4.33. But that, that's not enough for us. Let's see if we can get a bit higher it, it a bit higher. We want the quality level as high as we can get it. And that's true for any time that you imp improve any tools or any other items that you make in this game you always want to go for the highest quality level that your skills and your current tools will al and your resources will allow you to so we will improve again excellent it's now gone to 5.93 we will but notice now at the end is the icon showing you what type of resource is required to improve it. If you don't know what the icon is that it's showing you at, yet at the end, and you will get familiar, I mean that's the log, that is a pelt, but if you right click on the item and left click examine, down here it gives you some invaluable information. It says you will want to polish the fishing rod with a pelt to improve it. So if you're not sure what the icon is denoting for which tool you're going to need to improve, just right click and left click examine. For the pinewood spindle, if I look down here, it says a long pole with a string and a hook made of wood and a small stone as a sink. It is made Wait a minute, that's not the spindle. Oh, sorry, I missed it. <laughs> a spinning tool used to make cloth strings. It is made from pine wood. It could be improved with a log. So you see, if you're unsure by what you see, the little icon, right click, examine, and it'll then tell you what resource it is you need. But like I say, you can at a glance. I'm sorry if the video quality is not good enough to see the what icons these are, but in your game, you will see the icon at the end. Okay, so we've improved it now to 593 and we have to stop there because I do not have a pelt yet because we've not been hunting. I do have a corpse but we'll get to hunting and butchering. In episode 1 I made a mistake, I said we skin animals, that's incorrect. I'm sorry about that, I, it, <laughs> I've played too many games I guess. In Worm, when you want to chop up an animal that you've killed it's butchering you butcher the animal it makes complete and utter sense we're butchering it we're getting its pelt we're getting its meat and we're getting other components that we can use for making other wonderful items that we'll get to in another episode okay for now we have our fishing rod let's show you let's go fishing because you'll notice up here as well I need to drink, my, food, my water level is going down, and I need to eat, my food level is going down. We do have, let's close the skills window, we do have these three buffs up here still, but, and uh, they only last for the first 24 hours like I've already said. When they go, you want to be in a better position than you are of having to eat raw pumpkins okay you want to get away from the raw pumpkins because otherwise it, it will become tedious for you if, if you have to keep botanizing and foraging you need to improve your your, your food and we're going to get to farming in another episode <laughs> i do like saying that because i know i am going to do it okay so let's get to fishing anyway so we can get some fish You can hear rainstorm hammering away at the anvil, which we'll get to in a later episode. <laughs> okay, so first of all, to drink, as we know already, we just right click and drink. There we go, look, that's getting the water level up. Oh, there's the alarm. So let's quickly then show you fishing. To fish, very simple and straightforward and fantastic. And the range of fish that you can catch, don't get me started, but it's fantastic because there's all sorts. There's all sorts of quality levels, there's all types of fish, pike, uh, catfish, perch. Oh, it's just when I said in my um, description underneath my first video, thank you for giving us a world, a game world rich with content, 
you are going to see exactly what I meant by that. So, fishing. Activate the fishing rod. The deeper you fish, the better the fish you're going to catch. In a later episode, when I create a rowing boat, we're going to row out there to a really deep section and we're going to see what fish we can catch out there. For now, we're going to fish in the shallows and catch some really simple fish. So I'm going to right click and left click fish. Simple as that. See my fishing pole? Now, if we watch this, the timer is on 2.55 it started at. So this will go along and we're waiting to see the text here to see if we we have some fish start to bite. Always, always, always keep a look, a watch on your damage. If you let the damage get past 50%, it's going to break. So do not let it get that high. You'll see the damage as it goes up. It's very slow and very minor. Always just get into the habit of right clicking and repairing after you've fished a few times and your, your fishing rod will last a lot longer. When your fishing rod, each time you repair it, the quality level goes down slightly, and it will go down. So let's say we let the quality level get down to five, then we could re-improve it again. Hopefully, we'll have a pelt to do so. Okay, getting over here, you'll see it's still. We're still waiting to see. Excuse me, if we catch something. And sorry, I will wrap this up really quickly, but I just want to show you this because I did say we would fish. Okay, remember the deeper the water that you fish in, the better the fish that you're going to get. There is also special fish in this game and fish, special fishing spots that are hidden about the world. That's the thing I love about the game as well. It, it does love to hide all sorts of secrets out there for you and me to find. Okay, I am. this is the first time that I fished, hence why it's taking longer and as the quality level improves on my fishing rod so will my fishing overall you'll see I catch oh here we go let's see something bites let's see if we catch it it may get away the fish or we may be able to capture it we'll see you catch a pike fantastic look there's our pike Okay, I'm going to end it here. What I will do at the very beginning of the next episode is we will cook this pike up. So we'll be creating a campfire. We'll be um, getting a pumpkin because that is the best food to cook with. But I'll explain why in the next episode. Thank you for watching. And the pike says thank you for watching. And we'll both see you in the ne next episode. Thank you ever so much. Have a lovely day. Bye bye and take care.